Hey, everybody, I'm Tom Vassell. Ho, ho, ho. I'm Mike Delicio. Ho, ho, ho. And I'm Roy Kennedy. He, he, he. There we go. Oh, all right. You were supposed to say har, har, har to you. Oh, hearty, har, har, har. har, har. har. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Welcome to day three. Part two of the <laughs> Wit Dice Tower Winter Spectacular. We already did crowd surfing, so if you missed that, watch it on your own time. Because mm. we're live here, we're about to play Dallas Zones. We'll take a look at that in a second. But we want to do a couple things before we do that. First of all, we want to give a shout out to some of our Kickstarter backers. Let's do it. First, to Stratego's Games, to Hilmar, the Drupal Viking. The Drupal Viking. Yes, oh, he's snap. actually uh, currently helping us uh, redo our website. website. Yes. Oh, nice. Kevin Fulham. To Ali Metonen and the BAP gaming community in Tampa, Finland. Awesome. That's awesome. We had Norway earlier and Finland now. We are all over the place. Scandinavia, But, but maybe. hold on. Chris Ungro and Na Young Kim, Steven Chepkia, mm -hmm. and Pablos Ribas from Merida in Mexico. That's awesome. Right. Look at this. International crowd. World Thank you all. Wide. Thank you very much. We appreciate the support. I, oh, well, yeah, I don't know why I just threw this in the fort, because mm -hmm. I still have stuff. All right. Still stuff. <laughs> so, we are about to play Mandala Stones from Board and Dice Games, and we have a Board and Dice 2021 Games Bundle. These are for wow. games that aren't even out yet. Man. All right. So, to answer this, we have it's, it's one lucky winner. Email us at contest at dicetower.com, and you're going to win a copy of Mandala Origins. Tabanusi and Zapotec. Oh man! Hope I've, I spelled that right. I've seen a picture. We we've talked about uh, Origins and Zapotec in the news. They both look very very oh, interesting. Oh yeah, yeah. To enter this, emails at contest at dice .com. In the subject line, put the word man bun. Yes, man bun. M A N B U N <laughs> for Mandela bundle. Uh -huh. uh, and in the description, put. Your opinion of man buns. No, put your, <laughs> put your address, uh -huh. and we will announce a winner on our website, dicetower.com slash contests. So is this related to the fact that uh, our next Kickstarter is going to have a stretch goal of Tom with a man bun? Is that where this is being tied in with? or is Don't that even unrelated? start those rumors, Mike. Come on. <laughs> Tom's my considering wife told it right me, now. No, my wife told me if I got a man bun, she would cut it off in my sleep. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and I believe her. <laughs> <laughs> and I would actually encourage her to do such yeah, things. Yeah. So. Man bun for You're assuming great. I could even grow my hair that long. I know, yeah, well. All right, so um, after this, we got a top ten. We'll be playing Prisma Arena um, in just a bit, too. And then, of course, at two, we have a top ten of 2020. But that's all future. Let's talk about the now. The now. The now. Mandala Sons. Now, I want everyone here to realize this is not a final product. So let's take a look here at this. We have a bunch of colored stones here. And these stones have stickers on them. This is closer to what the real ones will look like. We have some samples of them. We weren't able to get the final ones in time. Yeah, let's put them up here. That's a good idea. Do it. A couple of different patterns here. Right, so there's two patterns there. And I'm going to call them circle and star just for purposes of this game. And then there are, I believe, five colors. No, four colors. Red, yellow, blue, and purple. Aren't those pretty? They're double-sided. They're chunky. It's that back of light stuff. Mm -hmm. Look at so, that. Uh, to win this game, you are trying to get the most points. Well, we're going to be, as the game goes by, stones will be placed on this track here. And once we get to the three hands, which is what we will all hold hands and end the game. Kumbaya. Yeah. Um, and then whoever has most points wins. We'll be keeping track of our own points here on the board. We have these 50-point tokens in the very, very rare chance one of the two of you goes over 50 Just points. Just keep those all by me. I'm going to need them. You're going to need more than one? I'll need them all, baby. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, we're going to have these objective cards, and I'm going to give each of us two of them. And... You can get points if you complete one of them at the end of the game. You, okay. can't, you can't complete both of them. You just pick one. Okay. But you don't have to decide which one you're trying to complete until game end, which like is good it. because sometimes uh, they may uh, go against each other. Oh, okay. Good to know. <laughs> you know, like one might say have the most stones, one might say end the game with no stones. Got it. Okay, so then we have five spots to put stones in front of us. So on your turn, you are going to pick or you're going to score. When you pick, you're going to pick one of these four artists. There are four artists there. There are two with each of the different, uh, for each of the different symbols. Mm -hmm. You're going to take that artist and you're going to put it in any open spot on the board. So I could pick this guy, for example, and I could put him here for pick. At that point, you're going to get all the stones around him that match the top of him, but that are not connected to somebody else. So in this case, I'm only getting the red stone. 
Mm. Because the other two are even though these the two match, they're connected. That's not a great opening move for me there. But then again, there is not going to be a great opening move. Yeah. But also, maybe I only want one. Okay. So let's say, for purposes of the game, that those weren't there, and I went here. Mm -hmm. At that point, I'm going to collect all the stones. I pick one of them and go clockwise. So I'd pick them and go clockwise around. Although, just I, I'm going to do it this way. Technically, it's this way as you collect them. The last one you take will be on top. Okay. So the way I, I do it is I just do this, and then flip. Okay. Ah, okay. When you do that, you will put it in one of the empty spaces here in front of you. Okay. So if they're all empty, I mean, if they're all full, you cannot do the pick action. You must do the score action. Okay. So, and the most you can ever have in a stack is four, because four would be the most you could get. Right. So I'm just going to grab some of these off. We'll, we'll redo that in a second. Here I have to do a score at this okay. point in time. So the other action I have is score. There are two ways to score. There is the cheap way to score. Not recommended to do all the time, but occasionally you may want, need to do it or even want to do it. And that's take as many top discs off as you want, and you score one point each. Okay. By the way, whenever you take discs off, you're putting them here. And if you land on top of these, you'll get extra points. All right. Now, there's the normal score. Um, when you do the normal score, you pick any color that you have two or more of. So I cannot pick purple and, and blue here. Okay. I can only pick red. Mm -hmm. And I will remove each of those, scoring for the particular way that one scores. Mm. So let me push this a little bit here on screen. This one here scores for all the different size towers you have, including zero. So if I'm scoring this one right now, I have a size one, a size two, and a size three. So this one would get me three points. This one scores based on how high the tower is. So this one's worth four points. If it was a size four tower, it would only be worth one point. Mm. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. The second I don't one. score either of these, but these would also score one, four, three, one, mm -hmm. six, four, two, one. This one here will give me points equal to the number of colors in that stack plus one. So two points. three points. Two po there's two three colors points, plus yeah. one. Three, mm -hmm. four, seven. And then there was, uh, I think, three different sizes. So eight, nine, ten. Ten points. I put them on here just like before, and again, if I cover these up, I get points. Okay. So that's that's pretty much it. Mm. Now there's some clever uh, things that you're going to be able wanting to do here, and I'm just putting these randomly because who cares? Um, you know. Oh, now I got to switch my cards. That's right. My whole strategy. <laughs> no, 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 no. You get to keep both of them. Oh, I thought you, you said you don't, no. The no the game, at the end of the one. game, you decide. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So it makes it a lot easier. Yeah, that's fine. All right, these guys start in these four middle sections, like this. Now, are they supposed to be opposite of each other, the, the same symbols? I don't know so that it matters. Okay. Again, so when I first played, we were jumping. You, you don't jump. You just move. Okay, so it doesn't matter, really. Yeah, but it just plays a random artist on each of the four circle right. spaces that are in those spots. All right. So let me look at this again here. Yep, and uh, that's good. Yeah, be that's, I'm going to be obsessively <laughs> I know. straightening those stacks, making it look pretty. It's a pretty game. You want it to have its most beautiful appearance. Uh, I'll go first, I guess. Oh, someone wants. Oh, is this this is the game you were talking about that has a massive first. No, I'm just kidding. Yes, you, you go. You go. <laughs> but you have started with a point, which seems outrageous. <laughs> so maybe I should not do that. <laughs> outrageous. Alrighty. Um. Yeah, should, you should go first. That way I can see two moves before I have to go. I like you that. You are lazy. Also, I'm going to be asking you to move these things for me, probably. I'm going to pick this one up and go here. Hmm. So I get all the ones of that symbol, which is only this red one. The that yellow one also has that symbol. But the yellow one, but it's connected to this one, so I can't take it. Oh. Mm -hmm. So I only get see this red one. There? So I put it there. Where'd you put it in the second one? Yes. Oh, Why? Because so it's that four one, points. Yeah, right. Although, putting two there is not bad. Right. Because you'll score six. You'll score the two, and then you'll score the four later yeah. on, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, You so only take the top disc got off each it. one. Okay, that's that's interesting. Okay. All right. Roy. So, if they're not beside it, then it's not going to hinder you from taking stuff? Like, if you go right. here, if you go here. I was thinking about moving this. Here, right, and that would take all of these. All three. That of is correct. Do you choose the order you take them? Yeah, in? but it's clockwise. So if you pick this one, it's. Ch -ch -ch. If you pick this one, it's. Ch -ch -ch. If you pick this one, it's. Ch -ch -ch. Definitely and which with one? The noise. The, which one is the bottom? The one the you pick last first, or one the you, last one you pick? The, the the bottom is the first one you pick. Okay. Hmm. I'm just gonna do this then. This. Then this. 
than this. And these all go in one spot on they here. They do. Boy, I feel like you guys are already doing strategy that I am absolutely not picking up on, but that's okay. I'm going to, I'm going to, I said I was going to have you do it, but I'm going to do it myself. I'm going to do, go back to So when you score, you choose a single color to score? Y yes, but when you score, you can, you can take one disc off as many as you want and score one point each. It doesn't matter the colors. You can score a color, but you need at least two of that color out here. Gotcha. Okay. So and then it goes on the rules in the yes. column it's in. So you kind of want as many of that color as you can it's for, you know, engine purposes. Right, yes, yeah, yeah. So if I do this, I go for here, action here economy. on the bottom, then this, then this, correct? That is correct. All right. And, I'll put and, that and the right. color is the color on the top that counts. Yes. Okay. All right. I want some red. Red rum. Interesting. All right, I'm going to just jump over to here. Oh, no, wait. I don't want to do that. Mike's a jerk. What? Oh, uh, just... Uh, don't act like you didn't know, Mike. Uh, actually, I'm going to jump this guy back. So red, yellow, red. And yeah, we're clearing out that... Uh, that area, yeah. That area, yeah. And I should put that one here. Is there I should a way there. I can get... Mm. We'll try to do some table talk here, but really, yeah, it's an yeah. abstract strategy game. Yeah. Very we're doing some thinking, think, or we're thinky. pretending to think at least. Right. I'm, I'm very think key. Probably not going to be thinking much, honestly. Well, I don't see any. When yelling like at me about mistake makes. Nice. So I feel, I feel okay. I feel like we haven't made any mistakes yet. So if this guy's here and I put a guy here, then this one can't be taken. Just in general. It has nothing to do with the matching color of any of that or any uh, of that? Okay. Uh, okay. So if you go somewhere that's completely away from the other ones, then it won't stop you. You mm. can't stop the beat. Yeah, can't I don't stop. really know. Can't stop. Different size types. This is already types, doing that thing different that, thing that types. abstracts do. I'm already like <sighs> wanting, I know, I know what I want to do on my next turn, and I'm <sighs> frustrated that someone's going to mess None it up. None of that is me. helpful. None well, of it is helpful. And if anyone can do as, it, as he picks Roy. it up, can you like make noise? Nah, nah. I'm gonna like do that. this. Actually, I don't think he messed it up for me. And do this. Or change your move. And do this. <laughs> um, and now I don't know where I want to put this. This but, just depends for this for the having different types of stacks. Yeah, that's the only. So this is the only spot that it, all the other ones affected. The rest are right. only affected by themselves. Okay. That and this is you want different types. Yeah, that's not a bad spot to put it. I know. I'm just trying oh, to. No, it did get figure it out. It definitely did get messed up. Oh, good. Good, because if Mike is a little happy. Oh no no, I'm I'm I'm, uh, I'm fine. If I do this right, cha, I just get that right, cha, right? Yes, but if you keep talking like that, you're gonna get nothing. <laughs> no, you can't put it on top of one. You already uh, what? Yeah, why it would you be, be able to put it on top spot. of one you've already put it on? Oh, I, I misunderstood that. Okay, well that was that was poor planning. Fine, goes there. I don't disagree about the poor planning part. Uh, I would just say poor playing in general. <laughs> Look. I would say poor teaching because honestly, uh, if Tom had taught the game, I would live with that. I, th I thought the teaching was I'll great, Tom. I thought it we'll was we'll yellow, flawless red, and but I'm, I'm doing completely the red comprehensible red the and mm -hmm. not insane I, blatherings of a madman. I appreciate. <laughs> I got to tell you, I, I like appreciate I'm, Roy a lot. This is. I wanted to say that I don't think he gets enough credit. This isn't a. This isn't <laughs> a one versus all on. game. I kind of feel like they're treating me like they're playing cooperative against me. I love this. People would love if you put your board where others could see. That's it. probably. I would a love. Good idea. So. Mm, there we go. The first one you take is on the bottom. The last one you take. Wait. Which you? I just stack them and put them on the bottom, right? The last one you pick will be on top. Yeah. The last one I, I pick do. is on top. I pick all them up and then I flip it. <laughs> just yeah, that's it. not a bad. I'm idea. just gonna do. It like this. So here. Oh, you can get all four. Yes, that is exactly how that works. Man, and I was, I just, when I was talking to him today, I said that that, that's a rarity. Yeah, I wish I. Well, yeah, you just gotta see it. Okay. Well, who set you up for that? Delicio mm. did. No, I did. Well, I could have stopped it. Both mm. did a little bit. Okay. I'm not trying to start or stop anything. I'm just worried about what I'm trying to do. You know, you can't stop the beat. You can't. And the pattern isn't what matters when it's on your board. It's the color that matters. Yes. The pattern is for taking them off the board. That is correct. Okay, I got it. Mm hmm. Wow. Yeah, this is this is this is this. This is this. All right. I'm just wondering if there's a way I could mess you guys up since you're making things so difficult for me. Definitely, definitely the game is about not setting the person right, up after you to right, take right. four. 
So I'm showing how not to play. It's part of my stick of teaching. Okay, I like it. I like it. Okay, I'm gonna go. Man, uh, I, they said there will be a one verse all option named when playing against Mike Delicio. <laughs> you know. I, I'm glad that all these variants are being named after yeah, me. Yeah, but, but I, I don't feel like that, like that would be too easy. Roy? <laughs> like, you're going to have to put a lot of handicaps in I gotta there. I got to tell you, you you're, this, is, this is just outright sandy. A pair of glasses. <laughs> Come with the all right, I'm going to do this. I don't love it, but I'm going to do this, this, and then you flip it even though it doesn't much matter. And you I'll could like these. do the handicaps now, based on like difference in age. Remind me again how this works. I'm, I'm about to show you. Okay. Ready for, okay. So I'm going to score. Okay. I'm going to cool. score red. Okay. So this one here scores me for the number of different sizes. Mm -hmm. There is a two, a one, a three, and a zero. Okay. There's five possible sizes. I don't have the stack of four. Oh man, I'm totally messing this game up. So that's okay. four. Yep. This one down here is mm -hmm. only one, so four. Mm -hmm. And this one here is on the second, third spot, so four. So four, 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 12 points. Then I put them here. Didn't think that through, mm -hmm. so I don't get the extra bonus point, and set Roy up for it. I actually also forgot that you're picking one color. This is going to be a great game for Delicio. <laughs> oh, yeah, you want you want, yeah, yeah. you want <laughs> yeah. you want the same color on the top. A lot. I'm, I'm catching on to that slowly. I, I I wish I'd given everyone a card they could look at. Shut up. <laughs> um, but it is my turn now. I had to figure out where in the world I want to try to go with this. Wow, Mike, I have to say here that the uh, people here are not on your side. Let's see. Really? Let me read some comments. Tom, sometimes you have to give lesser gaming brains some training wheels. Wow. This is... Chuck says, Delicio variant, start at negative 25. I tell you what, man, the crowd turns on you quickly here. I feel like I'm like uh, being thrown to the lions. This is all right, crazy. give Mike some positive. There we go. I don't Shower the love on Delicio. He needs all the help he can get, apparently. How to do this. I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to make stuff up. You know he's going to win by like eight oh, points, right? Oh, man, it's no question. Oops. All right. Well, by the way, if you if all your spots are full, mm -hmm. you, have you to score. must score. That, that, that's turn. the one rule I remembered. Yeah, also, I there's a special ending game condition. Mm -hmm. If you can't take a stone and you can't score, the game ends immediately. Really? Well, it, it feels like that's a very yeah, yeah, yeah. specific thing. Um, Mike rocks. I'll back you, Mike. Just playing, Mike. We love you. Aw, oh, thank you, everybody. The crowd is more fickle than one in a Greek tragedy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have to be able to score more than one or something? Or could you always just score one? You can score one if you're doing the normal, just take get one point. But if you're going to get the points for it, you have to have at least All two. Right. right, so I don't understand how that could ever be a situation where you couldn't uh, score If you had none. Point. If I do this. Oh, if you had none and you couldn't take any? Yeah. And I How want would that ever be possible? This to be on top. Well, or you just have four different colors and there's none to take. All right. If I want oh, this gotcha. on top, it'll be the first one I take, right? Yeah. Boom. Boom. Wait. I want this on top. So that's the last one I take, right? Yes, yeah, so you have yes. to start with blue then. Boom, boom, boom. And then we do this. All right, Mike's back in the game. Woo! I'm thinking about scoring again so I get that bonus one point. Yeah. I don't think, I don't think it matters. If I score, this one would give me three points, and this one would give me three points. That's seven points. Remind me again why that first one's going to give you three points. You have two different stacks. Oh, uh, no. The stack of zero always counts. Oh, okay. However, this is too good of an opportunity to pass up. So I will do that. Well, I got to go clockwise, so I got to go. I think I'm going to go here. I could go here, but this that elusive four stack that Roy got. I'm super yeah, jealous about that, Roy. Yeah. All right, Roy, go. Roy's got it. Oh, I thought you were going to score. No, I'm going to see if I have an opportunity. Mm. And if I don't, then I'll score. Mm, that is basically exactly what I want. So I can't take this one because this is here. So I go here, and I can only take the blue. That is correct. Correct. <sighs> And that's what he wanted to do, I think. Hmm. That's all I wanted to do. And after yeah. that, I've got to score it. And then it's impressive. <laughs> it's oh. not. It's not max possible score, but it's. It's uh, if this was one higher, it would be decently close. Yeah. 
if I go there, no, I can't do that. If I go there, I can't do that. Oh, that's rough. Oh, well, no, that's not good either. I think this is okay. I don't love it, but, ah, see that? If I do this. Oh, I'm sorry, I did side loud enough there. Ah, if I do this and so I'm going to have red, it. yellow, and purple all on the top after this. That's true. You have a great move now. But right. You're not yeah, set yeah. up for a great second move. Yeah, it's, it's hard to, you can't do, it's hard to do both. Sucker. But <laughs> you can score and kind of try to figure other things out as well. Wow, this completely different stack is just going to always be like dwindling. Like you can yeah. try to get it real big the first time, but then every other time it's just going to diminish each time. Right. But remember, you can also pull them off just to take one. Oh. So you can set yourself up for another big move. So for example, if I scored yellow now, and then I could score purple next, I could score that one purple disc, get it off there so I could score red to turn into right, red. Right, right. Okay, right. yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I forgot about that actually. I want candy. No, I don't. I want this. Uh, I don't like it, but I'll do it. All right, Tom. If I score. Okay, so we'll just, you're going to score blue, obviously. Yes. So this one you have every size except zero, so it's four points. Okay. Then here. Four points. Then here. Four points. Then here. Six points. Then here, three. Four points. It's, it's three colors plus, plus one. one. Oh. So we're just got 22 points. I feel like we just lost. And, and then gonna get you're going to get three more points because you put all okay. those discs out. You know, though, that's why I didn't score because I didn't want him to get both plus yeah. twos. <laughs> He's already getting a one and a two. It's a whole point difference. Right. But he set you up for a nice score. He set me up for, yeah, a decent one. So you're at 25. Yeah. Man. I'm at 12. What are you at, Mike? I'm at zero, Tom. All right, good, but I good. am going to score right now. I'm going to score purples. It's not great, but... All right, so you got to help me out here. I've got three different... Uh, I've got three different stacks, right? One, two, and three. So I don't know how many points... How many points do I get for three different stacks here? Okay, so three different stacks. Uh, that would be three. Oh, okay. It's just one per stack. Okay. And then this is going to get me four points. I'm not even going to look this is going to get the contest running. Three points. Boom. So you have nine. Yep, yeah, plus two. So 11. You, you that could, doesn't seem as good as you, Roy's. You could win. No, not winning. All right. But that's all right. I'm having fun, and I've got the crowd behind me. <laughs> got something. No. The, the puberty crowd. Apparently. <laughs> right the Peter Brady I did there. All right. There is too much goodness out there for Roy to take. I mean, take a look at what Roy's got. Mm. Do I want to score yellow? Or do I want to take another stack? It doesn't seem worth it. I'm going to score yellow right now. So, I have one, two, three, four stack, four points, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen points. Fourteen. Fourteen. 16 plus 12 is 28. I'm still behind Roy. No, I'm not. I'm ahead of Roy. You're ahead. Woo, but I have four discs and he has like a whole bunch yeah. more. <laughs> yeah. I just don't know the best. The best like, part of waking action, up, I know. Action it is folders in your cup. No, it is not. No? That's I checked. It's actually a Dunkin' Donut. Oh, okay. Dunkin' Donuts in your cup. Yep. If, if you they got, talk about ending the game with stones, they mean on your board, right? Yeah, if you miss the contest, you can just slide all the way back to the beginning of this episode, look at my contest description, and then come back. Did you not? Did you hear my question, what Tom? I want. Just want to make sure I understand. If, if they talk about ending the game with, mm. with stones, they mean on your board, right? That's correct. All right. Mm. That's upsetting. Is it? Because it, yeah, that's always yeah. good to hear. Yeah, yeah. But. but you're upsetting sometimes as he's like, I wanted to win right. by I lapping to get the 75 other person. points on this turn. I'm only going to get 73 points on this yeah, turn. Yeah, I've heard the same noise mm -hmm. from Jason. Yes. Why is this the case? Because I wasn't going to set you up to take four. We're going to do this. And we're going to do... I'm just going to do like... Well, since no one's posing in the comments, I will remind it. I'll just say the contest is 
man bun, M A N B U N, in the subject line, send it to contest at gmail. Contest at dicestar.com. Sorry, contest at dicestar.com, and you can win a copy of four different games. Yes, I'm gonna look them up because I keep, I don't remember all the names of them since they're all published. Mandala, Origins, Tambanusi. Is that one of the T-Series? Is that why it's over? I think it is the newest of the T-Series, yes. Rainer, you know now at this point <laughs> you're doing it on purpose. <laughs> He's trolling. Okay? Rainer's trolling purpose. them right now. And Zapotec, yeah. which sounds like a lighter. That's actually Zippo, I think. That's Zippo, yeah. The Zapotec looked really cool. It had the uh, <laughs> some beautiful art. All right. I'm going to score Yeller because I have to score, right? You do have to score. Okay. So uh, it's going to get me three, five, unfortunately. Oh, that's, that's amazing. Good job, Mike. Tom, your patronizing tone has not gone unnoticed. I just want to be clear. It wasn't even close to being patronizing. <laughs> that was just pure sarcasm. That was very sarcastic, yes. All right. I have half a mind just to score the single purple for a point. Do it. Wouldn't it be three points, Tom? Why would you pick three? No, because it's if it's just, if I would do the normal sc scoring for one point each. You I don't have, have two have purples at least two to be able to. I don't do have two purples, scoring. so I can't score for that. Oh. So you can remember I said you can pull a disc off for one point. Yeah, but you have to have more than one to score. Okay. I don't know if I like it. I like it. I like it. I don't know if I like it. I don't like Mike. It is this true. This is crazy. The, the, the one who is clearly playing the worst is, is getting all the abuse. I don't like my options, and I don't want to set Roy up. Oh, he has to score. Has to score. Oh, interesting. He's going to be scoring for a bit. It doesn't even matter. He'll score probably red to get the extra point. And then he'll score yellow. Okay, well, then that changes Over things considerably. Over here, like, looking at my board, knowing oh, what I'm we're doing. We're looking at your board, Roy. Make no mistake. All right, all right. I'll do this then. Oh. I'll do this and clockwise. It doesn't matter. I'm interested you left him that scoring opportunity, but okay. To get, to, to get a plus one. He would have got fun. the plus one anyway. No. Oh, if you Unless had, he wrecked you, his red. Unless you wrecked your red. He's not going to, like, ruin his board to stop me, I don't think. Uh -huh. You don't know the, the I, limits I'll go to. This, this is a tank is a game. Right. Two, three, four, five. Five and then six because I landed on this. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Thirty-one. Hmm. If these stones were candies, Mike would win for having the self-discipline to not eat all the stones. That's, That's true. Right. You'd keep coming back to my board and be like, Tom, right. why haven't you got any stones? I'd be like, oh, oh. I think Mike's oh, oh. candy stones I'm would be salty. Here. Salty candy. <laughs> why are you so salty? Like? Why one, so two, salty? Three. And That's a pretty good one. How many points did you get anyway? I only got six. All right. All right. But you got to like bring them down before you can even build them back up. <laughs> you bring them down to stand upon. I don't even know what I'm saying. I don't know what you're saying either. I'm so confused. I don't want to score. So I'm going to move here. And Isn't the red on top? Well, he can make it either oh, sorry. way. Yeah, yeah. I'm know. sorry, I did the other way. And I want red to be on top, actually. I don't know why I was... Doing other ways. Okay. All right, Roy, you got to score again? Yep. I'm going to score yellow. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's right. Set me up for that plus one. You didn't. You set me up for that plus one. No, Michael. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. All right. So 40, I think I'm what do you have? I've got 16, Tom. Ah, I was just, I but just, right now. This is for purposes of the people watching so they just know the score. And not after to this, rub anything after in. this, I'm going to have 21 because I'm going to score my red. That's it? F yeah. Four plus one is five. Nope. Oh, I can't do that. No, I'm going to score blue. <laughs> Darn it. And just to clarify, the reason Mike couldn't score red there was because he needed two cards. Right. He could have scored red for a point. For a point. Two points. But it, that's. Is that worth it just to take a point away from you? Well, you're still going to score. I'm still going to score. Yeah, I might as well. No, because I get four points. I'm not giving up four points. I'm not giving up three oh, points. I for almost that. had him. You did almost have me. All right, mm -hmm. I'm going to score blue. So this is one point. This is four points. That's five. And then four, right? Yep. Uh, so that's nine plus one is ten. There we go. 16, 26. 
Oh. I did set you up for that plus two. You were going to do that no matter what. Yeah, I yeah. I, I actually would have taken the plus one. All right, so. Tom's going to lap me here. Lap not, you? Not lap me, but you're going to get a bunch of points. You have 40 points. I have 28. But the, the game you're is, about to get the game past is, 40 one, two, points. Three. When we reach the end of the track, is that what it is? Seven. To hear. Okay, I got it. I don't know if I want to score this one. Yeah, I guess I will. Eight. Plus four is 12. Plus, that is 14. 14 points plus, so that's 12 points, 40, 42. I know, Two more points than you. Two more points. You're passing me. And we both have five discs. Ooh, this is close for two of us. I fundamentally misunderstood a couple of key rules. Let's just get that out I there. I feel like I was very clear no, about you, explanation. You were. I, I, I feel like that was probably the best teach Tom Bassett has ever done. I mean, that's well, not saying a lot. Well, hold on. But <laughs> and what do I want on the top? I don't even like any of this, any of these options. Mike, people said you have 27. Oh, thank you. See, the people love me. The people miscounted. Okay, we're gonna do. Uh, I don't like that. Oh, uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> the people giveth, the people taketh away. I, uh, I gave you false hope. That's all right. Look, I, look, I if I lose by one point, a something has gone very wrong, and b we'll put an asterisk on it. Go ahead. All right. Is there a way I can do that? Get. Don't think so there. Um, oh, maybe there. No, not there. I don't think there's a way I can engineer what I need for this one. Maybe there is. Don't forget your bonus cards. Yeah. No, there's no way I can do that. I can only get one there. All right, I think I might just score purple. All right, so I've got only two different here, so that's two points for that. That's two points for that. Four and three is seven. Plus one is eight. 34 points. Okay, I want a very specific thing. Let's see if I can pull it off. Nope. No. Yes, I can do it there. Good. Yeah, that's kind of the sort of thing I'm going to be looking for, but I don't know if I'll be able to pull that off. Uh. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, it works right there. Mm. All right, I will score red, so I get four, six. 40 points, baby, look at that, look at this. I'm gonna score <laughs> no, three, I'm deciding for one moment. seven, eight, nine, 10, plus two is 12. And five more scorings ends the game, right? Wow. I think you jumping on that plus two just wrecked me. You think that? I don't know. We'll see. This is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, um, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is only ten more. Eleven more when I pass over that. And score my blue for one point. Ooh, interesting. I'll take the 50 as well. Got it. I'm going to score my two reds here for two, three, four points. So you each get one last turn here. Oh, we do? Mm. Yeah. Okay, I kind of wish I had known that. That screwed me bad. So everyone, without yeah, looking at that, Mike's that, bonus card, it says really end the game bad. with no stones. Yeah. Well, okay, okay, no, no, no. I know how we can fix this. Could you have taken a single stone anywhere on the board? May, I, maybe I could have. I don't know. I had well, a red. I, I just scored. 
before you went. So I was going to score no matter what you did. What did you do on your last turn? I just scored a red because I wanted to clear my yeah, board. Yeah, but the board hasn't changed. So can right. you go anywhere and take a single stone? Uh, I can go here and take a single stone, right? I yeah, can do so that. Do, so do that. Put okay. the single stone somewhere else. Right. And then you're. I still would have ended the game there. Okay, so yeah. Here would have been made the most sense. I would have gotten. F no, it doesn't make the most sense. You're going to have to score both of them. You're going to both of score them as a single point. And you can do different colors. Oh, okay, that's fine. Then I'll do that for two. So. It's two points, you'll still get your bonus card. Okay, but these, so I scored these then, right? Oh, I do it on this turn. Got it. You can only do one of these bonus cards. Yeah, yeah, okay. No, no, that's uh, fine. Meanwhile, I got two four points. Um, so let me take them. Okay. Go. Cool. You can only do one of the end game cards, right? Yeah. Yeah, you can't do both, even if you did accomplish both. I don't think. The people should have just have automatically points we award during the game. No, What's I can't that? catch up to you, Tom, I don't think. I think I can only get seven max. So I'm just going to do it off my board instead of going for these. Because it's the same. So this is seven and that's seven. So I'm just going to do four, four, five, six, seven. Right? All right. All right, and then, then I get do these for two, right? Two. All right. All right, then we reveal cards. I wish I could have gotten that extra I didn't two. have mine. Plus ten. Eight. One stone. So for Mine both, I needed a ton of stones on here. Fifty-four. Yeah. Well, I also played this game last night, mm -hmm. so... I did, I for fundamentally misunderstanding. Did you win? I don't feel too bad. No, no. I feel I just okay with fifty four. I was able to get over the. 50. Yeah, I know. So that is how the game plays, folks. It is a. Let me see. I don't. Um, did Tom score twice? <gasps> it still wouldn't matter. He'd still be ahead. <laughs> well, if I did, I took four points twice. Sorry. If I did, I did not mean to cheat. You're still way ahead. Yeah. And Mike should have one extra point from the very first yes. scoring round, scored incorrectly. Yes. 45. Or 55. <laughs> Try to take Rory points. scores seven because it says here you have more yellow stones than any other player. Oh. Thanks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a little closer. It was a little bit closer. Oh, that's a lot closer <laughs> of a game. Mm -hmm. Woo. All right. My cheating almost mattered. <laughs> Do I make any more mistakes? Yeah, these aren't as bad because, yeah, if you have at least three, but or just more than anyone or else, more which could be one. Else. Yeah, yeah. It's tricky, though, because last night I had the same card you did. Mm -hmm. You have to end with no stones. That's so you have rough. to, like, time it to get there yeah, to be yeah. no stones in the board. That's a hard one. That's why it's but worth, it's worth more. 10. Yeah. So this is coming out next year, early ish. I mean, you yeah. can see it's almost done here. The, the, the final stones are being done and made. Mm -hmm. So you'll see more of this. Don't forget to enter the contest. If you missed it, go all the way back to the beginning of the game, yes. uh, beginning of this video. Right now, we're going to take a look here um, at the top 10, and we're going to come back and play another game here. Uh, and just so a bit of an intro here, later on today at 2 o'clock, we're doing our top 10 games of all time. Mm -hmm. I felt. There were too many reprints and new versions of games yeah, yeah. that I wanted to pull those out, but they still need to be talked about because they're amazing. That's the list that you're watching now. It's called Top 10 Reprints, but it's actually Top 10 Reprints, further versions, new ways to play games. Yeah. I don't know. Just listen to me talk for a second while we set up the next game. Everybody, I'm Tom Vassell and welcome back to the Winter Spectacular. Today, if you're watching this as we post these, today is the day of our big top 10 list, the top 10 games of 2020. As I was putting together my list, I noticed a problem I was having, which was that so many of the games that I was putting in my top 10, I was like, well, does this game fit in there or not? It's essentially the same game as another game, or it's a reprint of another game, or a continuation of another game. And so what I did was I decided that for my top 10 of 2020, I wanted to pick games that were completely new. 
And so this list here, though, I can't not talk about these games, are games that are either a reprint, a reworking, or a continuation of another game. You'll see what I'm talking about as I go through this list. But I'm telling you, if I pick my favorite games of 2020, many of them would be on this list. These are fantastic games, and I'm just separating them out for more, I guess, pedantic reasons than anything else. But I think that this was one of the major themes of 2020, that we're seeing a lot of this happening, and I think it's not going to stop. We're going to see more of this happening in 2021 as time goes by. So here we go. Number 10 is Infinity Gauntlet, a love letter game. Love Letter has come out with many different versions. The first time it came out, I was like, wow, Love Letter, that's a pretty good game. And then they did this love letter and that love letter and this love letter and that love letter, Batman love letter. And I was like, oh, okay, they're all pretty much the same game. This one's not. Infinity Gauntlet, a love letter game, the love letter part's very small because it's really just, it, this changed the game up, I thought, in very different ways. It's a one verse all. It could just be one verse one, but one person's playing Thanos, everyone else is playing the good guys against them. It still uses the basic love letter mechanisms, but I thought it did so in a very nice way. I mean, granted, there's still the Marvel theme there, which I like a lot, but this back and forth between everyone, this took love letter up a notch, in my opinion. Number nine is Zombie Side, Night of the Living Dead. I've never been a huge Zombie Side fan. And, there, you know, there's been all these different versions of Zombie Side. And, in fact, later in 2021, I think we're going to have Zombie Side 2 come out. But this one here took the classic Romero movie, the black and white movie, brings you have almost a black and white board game, essentially, and changed Zombie Side from a hack and slash to a game that's full of genuine terror. And I really enjoyed it. It felt very different than the other Zombie Side games. It felt very thematic and different. And I think for some people, that actually will be a detraction. They want more of the, hey, I got you know two machetes and going through. And that's a, there's a little bit of that in this game. Don't get me wrong. But it definitely harks back to that story, that movie that happened. And I thought they did a fantastic job. Easily my favorite of the Zombie Side series. Number eight is Eclipse. I mean... Eclipse was a pretty good uh, production when it first came out, although there were some problems. Remember Eclipse? I don't know if you, if, you, if you played the original Eclipse, but you had these cubes that kept track of the different things. And if you just bumped them a little bit, these cubes moved every time to where I was looking for uh, clear glass uh, things to put on top of my uh, boards to keep the cubes from moving and everything. No longer is that the case. They upgraded that. The new boards are fantastic. But it ain't just the new boards. Everything. This is a top tier production. It's more than twice as good as the original game. They didn't change many rules here. It's more of a production overhaul. But this is the kind of game where if you have the original Eclipse and someone brings out the new one, it's almost shameful. You're like, oh man, because the new one is that much better. Number seven is Small World of Warcraft. Now, Small World's a fantastic game, and it's been around for a really long time. Great game from Days of Wonder. I really like that they made this version, though, based on World of Warcraft. I'm actually not a huge World of Warcraft fan at all. That theme doesn't mean a lot to me, but it does mean a lot to a lot of people. And this is a fun new version, which is kind of compatible with Small World, not necessarily. And it's similar to Small World. There's a few things that are the same, but there's a lot of changes and stuff. But it's going to reach a new audience. It has that same great Days of Wonder production. It has, you know, simplicity of play. It has a few new play styles that are involved in the box. But overall, this is just a new version of Small World that I'm glad exists because hopefully it will bring more people into the hobby. Number six is Unicorn Fever. I loved Horse Fever. Horse Fever, a racing game, a little too complex, a little too much going on, and the quality wasn't amazing. Well, Great Note Creations increased the quality here. We now have little plastic unicorns, which look fantastic, um, fat unicorns. They streamlined the game almost by 100%. There's a, I mean, it still could probably be streamlined more, but they streamlined it a lot. It's a fun party game, and if you just want to cheer for your unicorn as it races down a straight path, almost like a drag race in a sense, and just shooting straight down a path, this is an amazing change over the original one. I like Taurus Fever, but Unicorn Fever really ups the ante and is just a ton of fun. Number five is Raiders of Scythia. 
like Raiders of the North Sea. Uh, everything that comes out of Garfield games at this point is like, Ooh, what did it have? What's new? It's cool. And when this one came out, I was like, oh, is this a reworking Raiders of the North Sea? Yeah, it is. It gets rid of the take that version. It changes the theme completely. It's no longer Vikings. It's now, well, Raiders of Scythia. And then you got all the, you know, it's a very different art style, but it adds a bunch of cool things. There are now horses and hawks that you can have. And I think that it is better than Raiders of the North Sea, well, without its expansions. Um, but it does, it's a great base game. It's a nice new way to play this style game. I don't think you need both. But I have to say, I really like it a lot. And once again, shows that Garfield Games is just on top of things. Number four is Undaunted North Africa. Now, I played Undaunted. I thought it was a pretty neat game. A uh, game where a very tactical World War II game. As it's, a, it's a mixture of a bit of deck building and also rolling 10-sided dice, shooting at each other. I thought it was good. Then I played Undaunted North Africa. Undaunted has gone up, in my opinion. Undaunted North Africa, though, which brought in vehicles. And you're like, ooh, tanks and stuff. There's like one tank in the game and a few Jeeps and stuff. But wow, this game feels tense. It's interesting. It tells a story. The games are actually not compatible. You can play one or the other. But they're very similar. The only difference really is there, there's a few minor differences between the two. Um, well, there's actually one major difference in how units die, but the vehicles. And I think that Undaunted North Africa is the superior game of the two, but playing it also made me want to go back and play the original more. This is almost my game of choice now. If someone says, what is a light war game to jump into World War II with? I used to say Memoir 44. I still would say Memoir 44, but Undaunted is kind of right there next to it for me to recommend to people. And a lot of that's due to Undaunted North Africa. Number three is Starcadia Quest. I know this one's a little bit more controversial because it's a new game. Yes, but it's essentially Arcadia Quest 2.0. Arcadia Quest, a fantasy game, a lot of fun. Go around you know, with your group of, of adventurers and go fight each other and kill monsters and get loot. So Arcadia Quest, same thing in space, except you only have two heroes instead of three, which I thought would be something bad, but it's not. The game is still really good in that regard. It's still fun to go around. And, and the way they do monsters, the way missions come out, it's like they took all the little, maybe small problems of Arcadia Quest and fixed them and made them cooler. I also tend to like the space theme better than the fantasy theme. And in case you don't, they have a module you can mix the two anyway, Arcadia Quest and Starcadia Quest. But this is a fantastic game. Come on. Yeah, this is the second game here on this list. They do a good job at taking something and kind of improving it incrementally. And Starcadia Quest is definitely an example of that where I'm like, wow, that is much better than Arcadia Quest. At least for me, it was. Number two here is a game that I was dying to see reprinted, and is the third one on this list from Come On Games, and that is Project Elite. Now, when Project Elite first came out, I loved it. I still love it. It, it was last year, or this year, it was in my top 10 games of all time, and that's without playing the Come On version. Um, this game, where you are a space marine, and you're sitting there, and aliens are pouring in, and you're like, bah, 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 shooting at these aliens as they come in, and you have to stop them. That's a lot of fun. Then come on, said, do you like the bad miniatures of the original one? I'm like, no, I don't. They're really garbagey. They were some of the worst miniatures I've ever seen in the game. Come on, said, well, here's some better miniatures. And they streamlined the rules just slightly, and they added a bunch of expansions. Well, how can I complain about that? Oh, I love Project Elite. Still a fantastic game. And now I have an amazing looking version to play with, which makes me very happy. Number one, I guess this one is probably not too much of a surprise, but that's Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion. Gloomhaven, the number one game on Board Game Geek. Gloomhaven was my number one game a few times. It's an amazing game. I love playing Gloomhaven. But it's big. It's hard to get to the table because it takes so long to pull out of the box and everything. Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion was in Target. It's a simpler version of the game to some degree. But what puts Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion is it provides that same Gloomhaven experience with a faster setup and easier to get to the table. But that's not the only reason I liked it. I think the tutorial system and how to jump into Jaws of the Lion is amazing. One of the best ever in any game. It's that good. 
but the characters in Gloomhaven Jaws Online are fantastic. I want to take them and run them in regular Gloomhaven. They were that much fun. They, they just took things and said, you want fun characters? Here are fun characters. The fact that you can flip a book over and all the campaign stuff's in the book, that's phenomenally useful, and I love it. It's just fantastic. And it's one of those things where he actually was considering taking the maps of the original Gloomhaven and putting them in a book for the same reason. Just superb. The whole thing is fantastic. I love the idea of this game. I wasn't expecting to enjoy it more than the base game, but I think I do. And which is kind of a weird thing because the base game's bigger and grandiose and has a few things in it that Jaws of the Lion doesn't. But this simple, straight to the point version of the game, I think just knocks it out of the park. So that's Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion, my number one for reprints, redone, whatever this list is called. All right. Well, those are the ones that are fantastic and amazing. But did it make my top 10 list? Stay tuned. Soon we'll be talking about our best games of 2020. They're coming your way. Meanwhile, what are your favorite reprints and everything? Mention them in the comments below. Until next time, I'm Tom Basil, and you're watching the Winter Spectacular on the Dice Tower. I'm sorry. Woo. Let me redo that. <clears throat> ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Welcome back to the Dice Tower Winter Spectacular. I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Mark Delicio. And no. I'm Roy Kennedy. Okay, first of all, stop it. What? No. This is twice now. First, earlier har, today, har, har. I said ho, ho, ho. Yeah, but you, get, you could be different. Now that he tried to... Jambo, jingo, jango. <laughs> Bingo, bango, jingo. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. That's I lower my back. voice and he lowers his voice. Get your own shtick. All right. Welcome, everyone, <laughs> to the Winter Spectacular. <laughs> All right. You have to talk with that voice the rest we of the game. We are live playing through no, Prisma work. Arena. This is from Hub Games. And so this is so this is a, like a fighting game of, of sorts. For, for it's, it's geared towards kids. Uh, uh, families, I, yeah. I guess kids is, is too... Making it too simplistic, I yeah. suppose. Um, so we're going through this. Now, the way this game is set up, it's a kind of a campaign game. You actually will change and upgrade your people as the game goes through. We're not doing that today. We're playing a scenario. The way the rule book's written is that you play through multiple like training exercises. So we're going to try to skip all the training, which, as we all know, for exercise purposes, is a good thing. Right. But we don't get cramps. <laughs> I right. feel like that. Training. training is overrated. Now, I, I did see... Go. One of the designers, Roy O'Connor, in a chat. So he will correct me, I'm sure, if we make any mistakes. But right. let's show you. We're each playing with a character. So here's Mike's character, mm -hmm. which he... Oh, we need to name our characters. I oh. already named mine. Um, there's a marker right next to you there. Okay. You write a name there and then the player name. So while Mike's doing that, we'll put my person up there and we'll show the, 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 the card here. So I've named mine Steel Dragonfly, um, player named Tom, and then there's my character that I'm playing. All right, so you can look at that person. That's who I am while these guys do it. All right, let's. Uh, we're going to be here in an arena fighting one another. Hmm. There we go. Yeah, yeah. So I've got to come Whatever up with we can a do name. to make the, the board farther from Mike is always a good Damn. thing. This is, you know. Oh. Oh, this is what. Did you write your name yet? Oh, you're still waiting for Mark. Mike. <laughs> I've got one. Hold on. How long is the name? Is it a sentence? It's, th this, look, this is a beautiful name. All right, switch to this beautiful name, Roy. Let's see if it's true. Flock Seagull. <laughs> the hair. Yeah, actually, I put the hair on that guy before. <laughs> I, That's I, definitely I, a flock of seagulls haircut right there. Okay. And I ran, I ran so far away. Roy? <laughs> oh, I also have Agla. My my little uh, what are these called? The our, our sidekicks. Oh yeah, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get over there in a second. Yeah, here's my sidekick. Well, it's, it's no, awesome I don't know if anyone over. cares about your sidekick. Huh? Mine is. <laughs> it's 
DanceBot 9000. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look, yeah. Let's I'm get here down. To uh, chew bubble gum uh, and dance. Uh, and I'm on the bubble gum. I distract my opponents with my amazing robotic dance moves. Nice. And we have sidekicks, right? That's right. There's Roy's sidekick. Okay. Listen, if, if you're going to be dancing, you got to have confidence yes. in your dance moves. Don of the right. confident. All right. That's, that's All right, Roy's. So show mine next. I want Mike's to be shown last. <laughs> okay. <laughs> New Hawk. The jealous. That's right, because I want to be as dance filled as Roy's character. You, you <laughs> covet, you covet their dance moves. No, not I don't covet. I'm jealous. There's a slight difference. No, it says covet right there. Oh, you're right. And I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, awkward no. turtle. Oh no! Help. Okay. <laughs> All right, now you can actually upgrade these characters any way you want. View wise, so Mike's going to show this off here. So there's a full sticker sheet that comes with each. Now, what you're looking at here with those numbers, those are actually upgraded armor that you can have. But at the top, you can when you start the game, you can change your facial expression, you can change your haircut, and you'll notice they have the front and the back for both sides of the figure. Um, but then as the game goes by, you're also going to be able to buy sets of armor with these down here. So there's upgrades you can see there that the armor suits will get cooler. Or not cooler, but I guess more powerful, what have you. Okay. <laughs> Show them all, Mike. All right. Enough stickers. All right. So we've already kind of set the board up here. We're playing a three-way game. So Roy's the blue team. I am the purple team. And Mike is the yellow team. We each have our characters set up here in the beginning. The goal is to get to, I believe it's 25 points. Let me check on that one here. Doing the electric boogaloo out there. <laughs> Confidence. Where's the end of the game? Uh, I will dance you 20 into defeat. Points, 20 points. 20 points. That's oh, right. that white number. Oh, that, that makes sense. That white number would make, would make sense there. Okay. okay. So, what we're going to be doing on our turns, we have these these uh, ready things. We'll put them above our cards. We action dials. Action dials. And right now, they're both set on ready. So, we have Steel Dragonfly and New Hawk here for me. We also each gave ourselves a, a power. Mike, show some of the power cards here. Sure. These are some of the level three powers, but we'll, you'll be able to upgrade and get various powers. Like this prismatic Ooh. projection, which I want now for no reason. I don't even know what it does. Zippy. Zippy. Oh, yeah. I like being zippy. That's true. Rainbow Ooh, claws. Rainbow claws. That's, a, that's the brother acrobatic. of Santa. If you're acrobatic and have rainbow claws, you're unstoppable. Kinetic armor. Ooh. Oops, I skipped Kinetic Shield. <laughs> All right, fine. So that's uh, some of the examples. <laughs> so we're going to be moving around and fighting each other. There are two different ways to fight someone. Striking them, which means they're directly around you in one of the eight spaces around your character, or blasting them. Each of us has some stats. All our stats are pretty much the same for our characters. Oh, no, they're not. I have four movement. I have four movement and on both attacks. Yeah, zero to four movement. Three and then three attack, and then two attack on my six. six that's that, that's your life, and it's also on top of your life, name. As life. you get ah. hit, these tokens we put on top of there. Oh, gotcha. And when someone is bounced in this game, bounced is like being knocked out. You're knocked out of the arena. When you this fills up your bounce, you'll come back in. But you'll each person who hits you will get points equal to the number of times they've hit you. Okay. And then we'll move up those things. First to twenty is the winner. So, you'll be activating people, taking turns. You'll activate one of your characters and take an action. You'll turn it to the side that you want. Actually, let's throw that up there, too. We're sure. showing everything else. Let's show oh, I that. I thought I had an extra one around. Oh, we do have an extra one. Well, That's fine. No, cares? it doesn't matter. So, you'll see you'll turn it towards move. Uh, that way. Right. Or you can use it at one of the two different attacks. Or you can just try to make a combo with that 0 and X. But you'll notice you're able to launch different combos off. Might pull a combo card. Just a random combo card there. That combo card can be played on top of an O. So, no, that's not even close how it's supposed to go. What do you mean? It's an O there and an O. Yes, I know, but put it on top of the other O. Like that? No, no. All here, the way across. Look, 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 at, look at me. Like this. Oh, gotcha. So like this. Right. And then that shows an X, <laughs> and then you can put another card with an X on top of that. And you're creating combos. But you'll notice after that, that ends no up. more combos. Mm-hmm. Okay? C -c -c Combo breaker. Derek says, live playthroughs are so boring, but we appreciate your views. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Derek. <laughs> Glad to have you here with us today. 
All right, so <laughs> you will also so there's a there's an advantage token which Roy has. So I got the advantage. You will, will check the advantage in a three to four player game. You'll pick someone to go first, and then we'll go around. And then that this token goes clockwise, but that doesn't mean you go first. You pick who goes first. Oh, if I'm standing next to you, it's me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless you're about to hit me. Then it's me. Right, so you can. It move. doesn't really matter. I'm getting out of there. Yeah. Um, so when you activate someone, you can you'll you'll put it to a certain position. You're going to do a move action, a blast action, a strike action, or do a combo action. You can just start off with a combo action. What's and the that's range why of the blast action? action? There. Um, oh, uh, it's here. I see. Zero to four, or is that movement? That's movement. So when you move, you can move zero to four. You can move around the board. You can go through empty spaces. You can't move through other people. You can go. One of the spaces you can move can be diagonal. One. Okay. One space you can move diagonal, but after that it has to be all orthogonal. Okay. You can move into or out of start zones, and you can also pick the move action and not move. Okay. That's why it says zero to four in there. Okay, so that's moved. Um, uh, at the end of a round, by the way, we will reset these and then we'll draw two combo cards. Ooh. And if our deck's empty, we shuffle our discard pile and draw more cards into our hand. And then. Oh, I see. You can you see if you want to use the advantage token. Otherwise, it doesn't it doesn't change. Oh. Oh no, that's only a two player game. Sorry, in a three four player game, it always goes clockwise. I lied. All right, grappling. If you ever move directly next to somebody else. Oh, can't have these touch the edges. The oh. Obstacles. Sorry. All right, fix them. Illegally placed obstacles. Yes. Thank you. All right. Um, if you move directly next to somebody else, you are now grappling that person. You cannot do ranged attacks. Um, you can't move away. Um, oh, wow. No, no. If you move into somebody, yeah, you can't pick move or blast when you're grappling with somebody. Although, there's, we definitely have a combo card that lets you move away from somebody who's grappling with right, you. Right. You ignore grappling, yeah. Um, so you can only do a strike action or a combo action. So the combo means you just start with one of these things straight oh, yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you can ignore grappling for that turn only. Uh, when you hit someone, you're going to equal. You're going to hit equal to your force. So three, two, three. I think we're all three, and our sidekicks are all two. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you hit somebody. Um, let's see here. A blast is a straight line, two to four spaces away. You cannot blast someone directly next to you, and it has to be in a straight line. Orthogonal. Nope, diagonal's no, fine. Diagonal two. Diagonal's Ooh, fine. Okay. All right, so I already mentioned combos. You can play a combo. You can start to play a combo card. You can only play a combo card if you can do everything on the combo card. Okay. After you do the uh, a regular thing, you can play a combo card as long as it matches the symbol. I already mentioned that. When you get bounced, we get points. We score points. When you've been bounced, the next time you will come back in the arena, you just... Come back here and activate like normal. Okay. If you have the lowest score and you're coming back to the arena, you draw a combo card. Yeah. I'm going to be doing that We, a we lot. feel bad for you. Mm -hmm. nice. And when someone gets 20 points, the game's over. Okay, let's talk about Moken. All right. Also, they were no, formerly known as Smoking, but now they're just Moken. <laughs> Smoking. Uh, these are where we're going to be different. We all have an ability we can use. We all have a strategize thing, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is during our hero's move, we may draw a combo card and put a card. So... Oh, we have the same strategize. Okay. We all have the same strategize, but if we do that, we can't combo. Right. Okay. But we all have a very different one. Like, I'm coveting. Right. You uh, are... Warning. Warning, and you're encouraging. Very, very, very heartwarming, except for Mike's, which is a, kind of a loser. No, character. mine is fantastic. This talks a little bit about characters... This embodies all the times you feel nervous. When Agla joins you in the arena, their ability is to warn and help you move out of danger. Mm. When facing Agla, try to keep them out of range of their hero. Okay. Donna is confident. Embodies those occasions you've really felt confident. When she joins you in the arena, you can encourage. When facing her, try to keep them out of range of their hero. I feel like a... I feel like a... Okay, let's go to mine. Um, Nuak, the Jealous. Embodies all the times you ever felt jealous. When facing New Hawk, you want to time your activation just right to avoid New Hawk copying you. Oh, is mine a copy? Ooh. Oh, by the way, I did not mention when mm -hmm. we play a combo card. Let me go back to when you play a combo card. Blah, 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 blah. Can um, I combo breaker? 
Let me go to the end of a round. I'm, I, I'm pretty sure that when you play a combo card, it is passed to the other player. That's end of round right there. End of round. Reset action dials. Draw two combo cards. Place any discarded combo cards face up besides the combo deck of the opponent opposite the, to your left. So whenever I play a combo card, they go to Roy. Whenever you play combo cards, they come to oh, me. Oh, really? That's right. So the more you hit me, the more I hit him. Ooh. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. All right. So let's see. Leveling up. We're not actually going to keep doing this in this game because we're playing a one-time game. But on the other side of your character card, Mike, oh, if you cool. can show one on there. Oh, yeah. You'll get these points. So you see you get two for each game you play. And if you play the Mokon and if there's a team game or what have you, a team game is 13 points. Right. And you'll move up and you'll be getting extra abilities as time goes by. You'll be able to level up. You can even fight someone with another level. There's ways to balance that out. And then the Prisma Power. So we have Prisma Powers. We all took one. Mm -hmm. um, when you play with the Prisma Power, we're, we, we're not technically level one, but we're pretending we're level one because mm -hmm. we want to play with these Prisma Powers. You can use your Prisma Powers. They're like abilities. And I guess you can have, we get more than one. We're just going to use one for now. All right. And nice. you can store only nine of them. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. So mine says after I strike, I can move one. I can move the target in any direction one. Okay. I ignoring grappling. So when I punch you, get out of my face. Right. What's yours? Mine is when I blast, I blast with plus one force. Dance. And, I, and I'm nervous that I'm going to get bounced, so I've got rally. When I'm bounced, I choose a friendly Mokon to perform a blast or strike with a force of one. Feels like a cheap maneuver. Feels like you're getting punched in the grill one way or the other, so I feel okay about it. <laughs> I love when you give me these 1940s you talks. Like that? Like, hey, that's all that's all the rage on hip hop or, or uh, TikTok right hip -hop. now. Hip hop, TikTok, it's the newest thing. The kids Roy, love who it. goes first? Jingo Django. <laughs> You've got the thing there, Roy. Who's going first? Uh, and for the designers oh. who are watching, um, when we activate, is it? So let's say Roy picks himself to go first. Does he activate one of his two people? One, one. One, 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 mm. or is it all of his people, all of his people, all of his people, just so we know how we do that. Mm -hmm. um, we have a little reference card here. It tells us how to move, blast, and strike, and on the back it tells you starting around, choose a ready character to activate. I'm assuming it's one at a time. So what's I would think so. We'll yeah. play that way unless I'm told otherwise. So, Roy, who goes first? Mike, you go first. I knew you were going to make me go first. Well, when you're across the arena like that, yeah. By the way, I would like everyone to notice, I put myself in the worst position. You did? I'm in between both of you. Mm. Yeah, you kind of are. All right, so I'm going to uh, move. Now, you can even do combos on moves, can't you? If, yeah. it, if it matches the, the letter. Yeah. It, it might. How many, do you pick these cards, or do you have a hand of these cards? Oh, that's a very good point. I think we probably start with a couple. I'm just looking through all my cards. Was Mike just going through all his cards? Hey, let's not get caught up in the details. I don't think we actually start with any. You draw two at the end of your turn. I'll look here. Um, no, we draw three. Sorry. That's right. We draw three. Ridiculous. Yeah, well, since this strategize allows you to get more. Yeah, you know, yeah. There's that. Ooh. Hmm. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to move. I think that seems like a, a thing to do. So I'm going to move Flock Seagull here, zero to four, and I can move one diagonal. So I'll go one, two, three, uh, four. Can I go? Can I go? Let me go. I oh, doesn't you? You do go, right? Yeah, I know. I'm just. I was. Oh, let me see. Oh, you're doing a combo? No, I'm not doing it. Well, because I would have to have an X co card, right, to do that. X card. Yeah. No, I'm. You know not what? You know that marks the spot. It, um, indeed. Hmm. Oh, here's this. I don't know what I want to do. And at the end of your turn, do I draw cards, or is it the end of a round? You end only draw round. cards end when you round. do the strategize thing. Yeah, I'm just saying also you draw cards at the end of a round. So. Okay, gotcha. But you can only have four total. It looks like a hand limit of four. I'm going to... You have a hand limit of four. I'm going to move my main character two spaces this direction. That's it. I'm just looking mm. at you. You're looking to get blasted is what you're looking. Why don't you come and say hi then? 
Well, I'm not going to come and say hi. I'm going to. I'm going to. Actually, no. You know what? I'm oh, moving. I'm okay. moving here. I'm moving right. here. One up. <laughs> okay. Now we're with, now I'm in range. Blast me. Oh, you've got some card. Blast me! That's <laughs> what I believe I said. We'll see. Your turn, Roy. I believe I can blast. Is the I believe what? Nothing. I was goes, not right? making a weird face at you at all. Um. Hmm. 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 So. One, two, three, four. Bring it. One, two, three, four. Bring it. Okay. Um. You can do diagonal. It does for look blast like a bit well. like we're fighting in a disco yeah, arena. <laughs> it does. You uh, could do diagonal uh, for blast uh, as well. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. It's watching Mystery Ooh, Men. The, I, I love my favorite are the uh, the disco gang. Tom or Mike or both. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. We're just gonna do this. Is Roy going? Because I'm, I'm going. I'm not sure what's happening. I'm gonna go. One, two, mm -hmm. three, mm -hmm. four. Okay, mm -hmm. Mike. Then. I got a combo. I said, Mike, did you not hear me? <laughs> and that's your turn was over? No. It's still I my know. turn. I'm comboing. I'm dual blasting. I'm going to blast. Blast or blast with plus one force twice. I don't know what the difference would be. Oh, because you could attack two different Do you want to hit me? With, yeah, I don't see why you wouldn't you do can't four. Hit me I, went, I don't know why you wouldn't do two twice. Right. But does this also work with that as well? What was that? Three, four, five? It says you can blast with force. It says you're blasting there, so I guess you're hitting me for three. Oh, is it blast? Oh, I see. You can blast for three, for four, or you can hit for two, two twice. So it's the same thing. So I can just do... Yeah, okay, gotcha. But I can do... Yeah. So I take four hits and steal Dragonfly, and I shrug them off a little bit like this. Wow. Shrugging it. Are you still comboing, Roy? Or are we just uh, playing them I think all at one time? No, no, he can keep playing a combo. Okay. So he can play a, a, a circle. circle on top of that. Circle gets a square! I'm going to then move out of Tom's range a little bit and move two more spaces. I believe the technical term for that is called bar. It's called hit and run! Mm -hmm. All right. Now, do those cards come to me now? Yeah. They go to my discard, I assume. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. All right, now, since I've done a move here, I have to... Now, no, now you got to use your other character. I have your to use your other character. nerve-wracking, nervous okay. piece All of right. trash. One, two, three, four. I'm not in range of that. So let's go ahead. seems like I'm going to move Agla. But I think I'm going to just move here within range. Okay, I'll just move right here. That's it. Simple as that. Mm. I'm going to move my jealousy person. I'm going to move one, two, three. Let me ask you this. If I had chosen not to move and I wanted to, I could just do a combo by turning it that way? Yes. Oh. Was that what you would have done? Um... No, I'm good. One, two, three, four. I'm just running my nervous person up. That is all they're doing. All right, Roy. They're jealous. I'm what nervous. Are you, what are you doing with your... Oh, see, I don't know why I'm calling my... I'm like, now, I'm looking at you like... Is that the end of the round? Or he has a second character. He has his confidence. Yeah. Okay. They're going to move. One, two, three, four. That one diagonal thing is kind of interesting mm -hmm. to wrap your head around. Um, it's not the first game I've seen that in. I've yeah. seen other games where you can move diagonal like once. One diagonal? Yeah, well, it's kind of interesting. Yeah. It's, a, it's a nice way to allow you to go around a corner without right, but not just being ridiculous the board. diagonally. Um, and then he's not within range of that, right? Four spaces that he's around a corner. I'm not sure how line of sight works particularly. He is within four spaces, but I'm not sure how the... Oh, within range? I would look that up. Uh, range. Maximum number of spaces a character can move. It can also be used to calculate the range for some abilities and powers. Well, that's a good question. Uh, real quick, Rory, um, can uh, you... Does range count around a corner or does that have to be a straight line like an attack? It probably says it in here somewhere, but uh, I'll look. Why? What are you trying to trigger, Roy? He wants to trigger... I could move him one space towards uh, you or whatever, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that much. Monica says, come on, Mike, get him. Yes! Thank you, Monica. 
All right. Yeah, just so everyone knows, about it. so if we were playing with two, if it was a two-player game, two versus, uh, you would have uh, one character, but you'd have two of these mocha, mokin things. You can use that ability range. You don't need line of sight, so okay. yes, you can use it. You can move one more if you want to. Would you um, like to? One more towards you? Yeah. All right. So now we're at end of round, correct? Yep, so end of round. The round ends, base. Reset all these to ready. All right. <laughs> Draw two combo cards. Discard down to four. Mm. <laughs> when you discard a card that you haven't used, Mm -hmm. Does that go into your opponent's discard pile? Oh, that's a good question. I just put it into mine. Yeah, but it might go it to the might other go person. To you. We'll find out. Um, I'll, keep I'll, I'll look that up in here. All right. uh, meanwhile, Mike, you're going to choose who goes first. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to be me. Greed is the worst that's thing. That's right. Oh, there is. Nobody likes the end of round. Discard, okay, if your deck empty, shuffle the discard. Place in discard tiles, face up, and the opponent's up. Yep, nope. It up, yep, you. nope. <laughs> that's there yours. You and that's mine. Up, yep. Yep. up, yep, nope. Up, yep, nope. Okay, I'm a Flock Seagull is going to blast <gasps> Iron Butterfly there. <gasps> Um, dragonfly? Goodness, that's just... Iron that's just dragonfly. He, he got your bug type wrong. So that is... It's actually based based on a flower, the, the, the ah. dragon flower. I meant to call myself steel, steel dragon flower. Oh, ah, okay. Because uh, we're, we're cooler than steel, steel magnolias. So that was a three force oh. blast, Thomas. Well, that puts two on me, so I'm I'm bounced. You're bounced. Which gives uh, Roy four points and gives you two points. Why would Roy get four points and why would because you? Because I already beat did four damage to him. Unless you were hitting this guy. Oh, it works like that. Okay, that's interesting. That's cool. Or you, which one were you hitting? No, I'm not going to change it up. I mean, that's fine. I, I'll, I mean. All right, well, you, you're closest to the score thing, which isn't close at all. No, it's not. Oh, Roy is yellow, <laughs> no, blue, right? Yeah, I'm so blue, I guess. Four for blue and two so for yellow. So let me look at that bounce thing because this is the first time. So when bounce, you bounce, bounce, when you get hits equal bounce, to their hit level, they're bounce, bounce temporarily bounce. The controller player moves them from the arena, placing them back on their action dial. Okay. Um, players you take know, back all their hit tokens I from that character. I work security at the dance club. Nice. You know, because they called me the bouncer. Ooh. When your players bounce, other players will score points equal to the number of hit tokens you had there. Got it. It's possible for multiple players to get points. Makes sense. If you perform an attack, it will go in excess. The additional hits are ignored. So, ha, ha, ha. When you're bounced, if you're bounced before you have a chance to activate, you'll get it, bring it back during the current round. All right. That's right. I'm not so out. I, Just temporarily. Uh, I blasted you. And now I am going to <laughs> I'm gonna blast you on social media. <laughs> Mike is a jerk. I'm also gonna leap. <gasps> One, two, three. Is that what you I go over go obstacles? obstacles? Ignoring obstacles. Characters grappling and obstacles, because I leaped over that obstacle. The lamest of moves. Wait a minute. I may not want to... Uh, Is there one of those combo cards that says, now cry? No, no. I, I, lied. <laughs> I, lied. I lied. I lied. I was where? I was here, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to move one. Then I'm going to do a... <laughs> he completely changes this. Yeah, because I realized I can combo again. Okay, I'm do, do it. a... Do it, little Bobby. Three or four player game, your hero can re-enter from any empty star zone. Focus <gasps> blast. Oh, 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 oh. Focus blast, and I'm going to do a blast on the disco bot there. How much damage? Uh, three. Give me three of your yellow tokens. All right. Ooh. Very adrenaline. Then Very adrenaline -like. I'm going to weave. Wow. I Don't worry, he's running out of cards. I'm we, running we out of cards. Him. That's all right. I'm going to move four. Oh, is this is this One, called the uh, the chicken two, run? Three, you better believe it, Bubba. Right well, you there. can appear right there beside him. So, <laughs> it's all right. That's true. I'm gonna stand behind him. Hello, Mike. Oh, you can come into my zone. That's you can come into any. Wow. Yeah. Well, I was too con too busy worrying about con setting up my combos. All right. So now these are done. They go oh. Through, though, right? oh yeah, uh, yeah. And also, good news here. Good uh, news. Oh, this is not gonna be good. Good news. news. Remember, 
uh, I was just reminded of this fact since I'm coming back in with the lowest score, I get to draw a combo card. Oh, I clearly have nice. the lowest score, okay. so I just want to point that, that out. Let's go to you. All right. All right. All right, let's see. You I will draw this up. combo card here. And I am, I am, I'm, uh, I'm going to pick this spot. <laughs> <laughs> what a jerk! Nobody ever said Steel Dragonfly played fair. And then... I feel, I feel like we need an angle camera here. I'm going to move. Yeah, it does feel like an angle camera. Well, we can yeah. just move the, that camera. I'm going to switch it up. Yeah. yeah. Excuse me. So I'm going to move one. And then I'm going to... So I, I'm, I'm moving first. So okay. I'm high. Ah, I'm not then I'm going to do a dual strike. Oh, no! Which says strike with force one okay. twice. So I'm hitting <laughs> both your losers. Mm. Here, let's face them like this. And then it says after you strike, you can move one person, the target, in any direction, ignoring grappling. So I'm going to hit this, weenster that space. Okay. And then... On top of that, you, oh, you I'm going to one? barge, move one to two, ignoring grappling. Oh, yeah, because normally you couldn't move because you'd That's be grappling correct. with me. Okay. But I'm just going next to you. Then I'm going to slap you. This is called Man. forceful strike, but it's actually <laughs> this is just a slap. I, I do so not. So I will strike, hitting you for three, and then it says move you one, ignoring grappling, and I will move you one this direction. Man. Fox Eagle got wrecked. Oh, this says after this, I can move in any direction moving one. I'm assuming I can hit you twice, so I'm going to move you here. Why here, you these are all twice? good cards. Enjoy them as I, because I have it. It was on the card and on my special oh, ability. Oh, wow, okay. All right, Steel Dragonfly is down, but not out. So I'm guessing I can see his, uh, his nervous character, right? You can shoot you can, him directly. Yeah, you can blast him. I, okay. I, am, I am all in favor of that. That's why I moved it there for you. Mm. Blasting you for, I guess, four total? Four force total? Well, I would only do three because I'm already Go, I do three. One. Give, I guess just give me three. Yeah, points. yeah. <laughs> Is it possible to put the inset? Yeah, I, or the box. Yes, I can do that too. Sorry. All right, so three points. Well, I meant us. Yeah, I can do that too. Okay, so you're going to get one because he bounced Ag Agla, but Agla's still going to get to, um, still going to get to activate, you said, right? If they're bounced. Before they activate. Hmm. So he knocked Agla out. He did. He, he killed it one shot. How? Because he I do four damage. So you're going to get a point. He's going to get three, but it was bounced before it activated. So it's still. You still got to activate. Yes. Okay. Do we add the points? We have not yet. So blue gets three, and, and I'm purple not gets quite one. You know done. those are made to point at the numbers, right? I wasn't sure of that because what if there's two on the same number? And you could put one below, Underneath, one above. I guess, yeah. Okay, um, and then I'm going to keep going. I'm going to move. I can move up to. Who's hurt? I'm Roy. hurt. Roy does have the blast plus one power, but that's what he just used. Yep. Um, but I guess I'm guessing that overkill damage does not give you points. Which is they want to know if Fox Siegel's brother's name is Steven. One, two, could be three. Yeah, Steven Siegel. I'm just gonna go one, two, three, and this starts with grappling, right? You're so now grappling. I'm grappling this. Yes. Okay. Oh, big robot hitting! I mean, you can't even see him because of the way that this, these angles mm -hmm. are here. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this a little bit so you can see the, the look at that, look at that. Look Direct at that. strike. Look at this guy. What Direct strike does four damage to your guy. How? Three plus one. I will get my revenge. That's four more points for Roy. Man. I mean, listen. All right. Woo. Temporary truce. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. No. I mean, you can kill me. You'll get the points, and then I just get to pop up wherever I want. It's fine. I'm okay with it. Don't oh, here you go. Me. You know the don't throw me in the briar patch is my strategy. They don't mm. work on me. All right, so... My poor nervous Agla, who got bounced earlier, is... Listen, don't come to a dance fight unprepared with the correct dance moves. Yeah, oh my goodness. If you don't want to dance, don't get into the arena. 
zero one one zero. If it wasn't for YouTube's rules, I'd be playing dance music right now. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna bring Agla. Yeah, we should like have a here. disco ball. Okay. Oh, and I'm gonna move Agla for four. One, two. I'll stop there. So now we're grappling, and now we're gonna do a direct strike, a slap with a force of three. Okay. Because it's plus take, one. Who are you slapping? Three. I'm slapping that dude. Dude at. Dude. I'm not sure. Confidence has been slapped. Listen, die die nervous. The confident. You know, that's all I can do with this card. Less confident. I feel like there's some morality tale I should be saying. This card goes that. to Thomas. Well, not, oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, because I just played it. All right, here comes the jealous. The jealous is in the game. Moving. One, two, Wait, let's, uh, one, two. It says during a move action they perform, they may also target a rival hero within range, which oh. you are within range. Discard a combo card. I, I will, have to discard a combo card? No, no, I will discard a combo Again, card. It probably goes to him, right? And then I will take a card that has been discarded by you, because technically it's not in his Oh, that's thing interesting. Yet. No, no, no. Uh, I'm going with that one. That's the one that he, he, he discarded that card. Technically, they haven't moved in the in that that's pod. A weird thing. Okay, so I'm confused. What are you asking for? That this top card? card there, I'm getting rid of uh, this. Um, that, the, since you discarded that, it goes to me, though. That goes to me. Yeah, okay. Sorry. We have to actually cycle the deck for this to matter, but, right. you know, there's that point. I'm blasting you. Blast for two on your main big robot character. Not dead. He's not dead? Not dead. Uh, but I can then move you one, so I'm going to move you one in this direction. Okay. Uh, I don't know why that matters. You move him diagonally. Hang on. Because then he's not in range. I can no longer combo. I'm done. All right. All right. Bring your. Are you done? No, you still got. Oh, a, is that end of, no, he still has one. One more. He's got his secondary character. Oh, grappling works in the four orthogonal squares, not the diagonal squares. Oh. oh okay. Um. But he is grappled that. right now, so he can't move. Can't normal move. Yeah, since since right. since we're the camera's on us, we're gonna yeah, pose. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's pose, pose, pose. I can't um, see your guy though. No, that's alright. It's nervous. It's hiding, hiding in the shadow. Hiding behind the confidence. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to hit yours for two, I guess. Just do a strike. Just do a regular strike. Okay, but I need two of your little markers. Agalot could get bounced twice in one round if it's not careful. <laughs> if I could make it happen. If, if I had would. the right combo cards, but I've been using them quite efficiently. Already. I can't believe that robot survives. I know. That's crazy. All right. I think it's not going to survive. What do you think, think the, the chance of you surviving the next round with me going first is going to be? Yeah. I think that's end of round, correct? That is. All right. All right. So Draw. end of round. Reset oh, yeah. these. Yep. <laughs> I'm okay and then this. we draw two combo cards. Discard down to four. Yeah, so there's fine. no reason really to, 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 to store to, to combo cards. Them, right, yeah. You might as well play them because you're going to be doing that. Okay. If advantage was used, means it was not used because I kept it, right? No, that's only in a two-player game. Oh. Oh, okay. So this goes to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You okay. used it by declaring well, who was the first player. You just said it. it was you. Okay. Just like I'm about to say it's me. Okay. Because we're definitely taking out taking that, out chunky, that, that robot. chunky robot. Yeah, but he gets to come right back in and hit somebody it's just like right. you did. I understand that, okay. but I, was, I want the points. I'm, right. not, I'm, not, I'm not enjoying being at one point. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you will I, then be at three. I know that. No, I'll be at four because I'm going to get a third one for hitting you. Oh, yes, you'll be at four. But you don't have to hit me hard. Yeah, unfortunately, I have to move and hit. Hmm. The funny thing is, all of Mike's points are tied up on my character, so if they never die, then Mike's going to lose out on a bunch of points. <laughs> Which one's me? This one? That's yes. you, yes. Yeah, okay. Walk up and punch him. Do you have a combo that allows you to do that? I have an unfortunate... Okay, I'll do this. I'm going to do a diving... I'm going to use my... My uh, combo here from New Hawk to Joe's and do a diving blast, which says move one, ignoring grappling, 
and then blast this with force oh. minus one, which means I only hit for one. But that's but all, that's all I need. Okay. So that actually that doesn't, doesn't waste. Okay. So yeah, yeah, right. I feel like that was good. So, so you both get three. That's right. correct. One, two, three. One, and so to two, move back three. onto the board, you have to do a move action. Is that how that works? No, you just come back on anywhere you want. Oh, and then you still get to take you your still full act. Yeah, but hang on. I'm wow. still. I'm, I may. Oh no, diving blast is the end. That makes sense. Because once you dive, you right. you can't combo on off of that unless you do a That's roll cool where's my roll mm -hmm. all right oh now it's actually my turn yeah Agla's gonna get wrecked don't worry about it although he could i don't know there's a number of ways he can go he could yeah i don't know i got four more points sitting on you <laughs> yeah you do <laughs> i need to take your character out i got nothing on roy i know how's he so far ahead of us uh, he's i've been using my combo cards really well he, i think yeah. I, I started with three movement combo cards that didn't do a lot for me. Um, goodness, I think I should just... Wreck Shop. This game's about Wreck and Shop. I should just Wreck Shop. And also, love oh, your friends. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> What'd you say? Love Give me a friends? hug. <laughs> I don't know anything about that. Um, we just come in and chop. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not afraid of you. Yeah. I'm a little afraid. I ain't afraid of no yeah. robots. So I can just come Any beep, one of those beep, yellow beep, spots. Beep, 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 How much beep, life do you have left? No, you're not grappling. Oh, you right have now. a lot of life left. I am I am way alive. I only have two life this left. This is here. Uh, maybe that I should just knock two, that, that guy one out. Has two. Both of my characters. Actually, only forget have two. that. I'm just going to attack here. So you're bringing Slap. In... Oh, just here. Okay. Just a straight slap. Okay, and that's You're for dead what? For two? two. Okay. You're so bounced. You Sorry. get all four points. I want to say dead. Bounced. Yeah. So four points for blue. Brings him to 15. He realized he needs five more to win Oh, the game. I realize. <laughs> Can you throw uh, my nervous little character over here, please? Oh, I will. The I'll problem is do it my, my ability. Um, oh, are Mokons both of your characters? No, the Mokons are these. Are these, these guys, yeah. Both. I haven't been able to trigger it because the this ability is for when my main person gets bounced and they're always like not in a position <laughs> to do anything so all right so it's my turn um i could bring oh did we mention it was a contest for this game yeah it's <gasps> oh wait no, no we did no, not we did i not. apologize i apologize there's a contest for this game we need to talk about that right now stop talking so much roy all right it's for prism arena Ooh. all right we have two copies of this for north America. Uh, to enter this contest, all you need to do is email us at contest at dicetower.com. In the subject line, put the word Prisma, P-R-I-S-M-A. In the body, put why does Mike lose every combat or in, no, put your address. Outrageous. Outrageous. <laughs> Just put your address. Um, so again, you can email us at contest at dicetower.com. In the subject line, put Prisma, P-R-I-S-M-A. In the body, put the word Mike, no, put your address. <laughs> Dance if you're for Mike, nine say thousand. in the comments, give him some love. Dance give him some love, nine. people. But, but really, it's also me, because I am in last place. The thing is, I Dancing don't quite understand this victory. card, but I think it's going to be, I, I have a feeling it's good. I just don't quite know exactly how to use it. So what I think I want to do is I'm going to figure it out. You guys are going to help me figure this out. I'm going to move. I'll with, read you any encouraging things you get. Right. Also, if you're going to say negative stuff about Roy, I will also take that. What? Hey, man. Wait. You're, you're at 15 oh, points so you have, your to five slash four. Right, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, the problem is I'd like to be going after Roy, but he's not. I'm, I, he's way over there and off the board. So I'm going to move. Well, shoot him. One, two. No, I can't. Don't he's, you have a sprint card? I got a sprint card. I don't, not anymore. Um, but I'm going to do a... <laughs> he's going to knock your person out. I'm going to do a throwing strike. I don't quite understand how this card works, so let's figure it out together, shall we? It says strike with force of zero to one, a friendly or rival character, then... Move the target? So yeah, am I slapping you hit. and then throwing you? Is that what I'm doing? So you can't hit me back, basically? Because it says ignoring grappling. Yeah, I don't... Okay, that's All right, so weird. basically, I would hit you for one, I assume, right? I mean, why would I ever not hit you for one? So, you know, but you can slap one of your friends around. Yeah, oh, I see, and move them. Okay, no, I'm, I'm going to slap you, and okay. then I move you to ignoring um, grappling and obstacles. So I wish I could... Smack you on the other side of an obstacle, but I can't. Now, when I move you, I can still move you one diagonal. I would assume, right? Yeah, I guess. So let's move you diagonal and over. There we go. That character's already uh, going, right? Mike is bad at rolling dice. 
Slanderous outrage. Go, Tom. There's no I, dice. There's no dice in this game. All right, there you go. There's your card. Mike, you've got this, and even if you don't, you've got this. All right, thank you. I'll take that. That was Rainer. Thank you, Rainer. Rainer's a, a, a positive liar. That's I'm right. Just... Rainer saw my performance in Mandala Stones, and he's just very, very <laughs> sad for me. Right Are you now. done? <laughs> Are you done? Yes. Uh, I need to get some points. So I need I'm to done kill in Roy. So many ways. I need I've to kill Roy or game. I need to kill Mike. You need to kill Roy, but I'm the this easiest is, You're only getting one point off of this. You're right. And I get Roy. six points. Look at that. Look at him metaing his way to a victory I, I don't here. think you realize it doesn't matter who you kill. It it's matters to me. It matters. But I'm the easiest target. I'm only two you away. You are definitely. This is you, right? Yeah, yeah. So one, two, three. I could be next to you. Yes. I'm, I'm not grap You're not grappling with me yet, but... Doesn't matter. I know I'm next to you. I'm not yeah. grappling. I can still hit you. Maybe. So I'm gonna move. Direct strike with force plus one. So that's five. Well, you only four, need I mean. two. I know. <laughs> but I, I, I had to use the combo to no, hit it. I mean, you just take those points. Six points. I'm, I'm catching up. I'm up to ten. No, 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 no. Also, I'm gonna, I'll draw the card. Don't you? Don't you dare! Don't! I wanna! You! Oh, that is so. <laughs> That and seagull I flew. flew. I flew across the board. I'm just trying to help you. Look at this garbage. Mike, how many characters <laughs> do you have on the board? Zero. All right, right. Well, that's good. At least I can bring Agla out. Although You're bring in the robot. Is there for me to end it? Do it, man. You, if you can do it, let's see if you can do it. It's a big talk. How much hit points do you have? You just have six, it. right? Yeah, might as well. Can just you end do it. six? With combo cards easily. Ah, uh, boo. <laughs> All right, here we I go. I stand here. I shoot you for four, Thomas. All right, four. You gotta I'll give, take you, it. I move forward. You're putting your points on there. He should be putting his. <laughs> <laughs> Bloop. The, the slight, I move forward leader. one. Bloop. Now, how did you move forward one? Because you have a combo. Because I just comboed it. All right. And I strike you for three more. That is really, you really mean. So six points? Yeah. I put 21. 21. All right. All right. Do we finish Here, out the round? Or is it oh, don't don't you want some satisfaction? I want some satisfaction. I heard you can't get I no can't. satisfaction. All right. Um, so we are. I do get a finish out, or is that does that end the game? We finish yeah, the round. Finish. Go ahead, finish. Oh, okay. Well, we want. I know. I want you to finish. All right. We should get an equal number of turns. Agla. I think. Mm, I'd really like to do a double. Even if we don't, well, that might do it. Because there's a chance Mike could get 15 points. <laughs> no, <laughs> not a chance that Mike's gonna get 15 points. That's the one. That one has one point left on it. Yep, but All it'd be right. worth four to you in total. Right. Yeah. So I kind of need to do that, right? Which would put you still behind Tom. Sure. All right. So I'm gonna bring Agla Ag Ag uh, Agla out here. I'm gonna move. Can you just blast me from there? Maybe. This is more fun. I want a combo. I'm gonna go here. Then I'm gonna do a. Yeah, combos are more fun. Dazzling blast. So that I'm going to shoot you and then make you move, but you're going to be dead anyway. You get four points. Four points! Da, 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 da. Yes, second place! There we go. All right. All righty, so again, it was close. After yeah. the round is no, over. Not close at all. After the <laughs> round. So Roy wins. Congratulations yeah, and all that. Who great cares? Job, Roy. Um, yeah, yeah, we got dance spot. Okay, now we can all be friends and come have a dance yeah, party let's together. Yeah, all dance together. You shot me in the face. <laughs> hey, they don't call me the bouncer for no reason at this dance club. <laughs> okay, so uh, once again, don't forget our contest. Um, yeah. So there's a contest here uh, for Hub, from Hub Games. Two copies of Prisma Arena. Email us at contest at dicetire.com and put the word Prisma in the subject line. After this is over then, we would keep track, and you you see that we had these one-time special abilities, but you can have a lot of these special abilities. Now that we've played it, let's go back and show some of them again. Show some of those threes Some there. of the threes? Yeah, like, show some of these oh, three special what they do. abilities. Let's see what oh, wait, we can. I can't. Oh, that's right, because we're, I can. we can show them here, maybe. All right, we'll put them on the main board then. Yeah, yeah. No, no, the, the 3D board. <laughs> okay, that didn't help at all. All right, I'll just I mean, I, can, you, I can move the camera. You're showing twos. <laughs> Sillies. What are you talking about, man? There's level twos and level oh, threes. all right, well, look. So here, when doing a move action, you here. can move through spaces with other characters. Here we go. When you do, ooh, I like this one. Look at this one. Show it. It's the Blitz. When you play combo actions, you may play oh, any card, ignoring the normal linking requirements. I love that. 
Oh, that is good because you could just be like strike, 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 strike. Just wrecking people. Oh, I like this one too. The prismatic link. When you re-enter the arena, you after your bounce, you may begin your activation. Oh, I like that. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. There's a radiant strike. Radiant strike. When performing a strike action, you may instead strike with a force of minus one, then blast a different target. Oh, okay, so that's cool. You're uh, hitting double hits. Yeah, minus one on each, but that still could be with Roy's over there where he's hitting for 15 every time. Ooh. Wait, 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 wait. wait There's about? Wolverine's rainbow claws. There's the rainbow claws, yeah. Okay, so you can strike from a distance. That's nice. Wow. Uh, and yes, we're supposed to play out the round because if you score 20 or more points, you get Prisma points that you know, oh, activate the stuff. Oh, got it. Yeah, yeah, for blood so up and So you get more of these and you upgrade as you go through each game then and play different things. So that's Prisma Arena from Hub Games and Asmodee. Uh, that's it for us this particular round. We'll be back. We're going to take a lunch break here. And we'll be back at 2. we got prep. This is the big one, folks. Our mm -hmm. top 10 games of 2020 at 2 o'clock. We will see you then. While you're waiting, you should eat lunch or breakfast, depending where you are in the world. Yeah. You should also, if you missed any of our videos, there's a whole lot of them out there right now. You can watch them. And or think about your own top 10 from 2020. That's right. Until next time, which is very soon, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Mike Delicio. And I'm Roy Kennedy. Have fun prismatically fighting each other. Woo Prisma.